thinking a lot about my right breast. In fact, all through Lent, I've been on a right breast journey. Jesus went on his journey to the wilderness for the 40 days between Ash Wednesday and Easter. That's when we're supposed to atone and think about our sins and contemplate. Well, whatever needs contemplating. And of course, give up chocolate and alcohol. But this year, I didn't want to give up something. I wanted to do something to improve my spiritual journey, to become more conscious of my relationship with Jesus, like my spiritual director, Father Bob, always urged me to do. God rest his soul. Unfortunately, all I was conscious of was my right breast. The week before Ash Wednesday, I go in for a yearly mammogram. Uh-oh, they say, you need to come back for an ultrasound and more mammograms. Uh-oh, we see something in that right breast. Uh-oh, you need a biopsy. They lay me on my left side and squish my right breast between these clamps. And the radiologist, who looks like he's 12, <laughs> says, don't worry, this will be like getting Novocaine at the dentist. Are you kidding me? I try not to scream. Numb yet? Not really. How about now? I am praying to Jesus so loud in my head I can hardly hear the kids say, Okay, you're going to feel some pressure. Are you fucking kidding me? He starts digging around in there like he's got a fucking shovel and is digging his way to China through my right breast. The biopsy is positive. I have breast cancer. What stage? Don't know. Full pathology report is not in. So there I am with this uncertain news on Ash Wednesday, kneeling in the church, getting ashes placed on my forehead. Remember, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Oh, God, I hope not yet. Already, I have visions of the mastectomy and having no chest at all. I pray to Jesus about my right breast, that it can be saved, that I'm sorry I've been so unkind and critical about how small my breasts are, how I blame them for the loss of jobs and lovers. Sorry, sorry. My breasts and I are swamped with regret for the past and fear of the future. In the breast surgeon's waiting room, there are inspiring pictures and quotes from breast cancer survivors like Gloria Steinem. The art of life is not controlling what happens to us, but using what happens to us. Suddenly, I feel encouraged, even though I was awful about Gloria in the 70s because I was a single mother and felt somehow she was attacking my way of life and the fact that I didn't care about women's lib. I just so wanted to find love and not be alone with a child. Sorry, Gloria. We are now sisters in cancer and I feel connected to something larger than myself, to Gloria Steinem, to this sisterhood of cancer survivors. And through this connection, I do feel closer to Jesus. Thank you, Gloria. While my right breast and I have been on this Lenten journey, the world has completely changed with COVID-19, but we have survived the surgery and are cancer-free. Now we're into the 50 days of the Easter season, a time of hope and renewal. My right breast and I no longer worry about the future or regret the past. We are simply grateful to still be together here and now.